No, that's not what I mean here. Um, like, remember, I it's like because we're supposedly doing the cast this weekend. Yeah. So it's like, okay, let's just have fun. Let's keep it short. And he sent me an email 20 minutes ago, which I just got now. It says, oh, I have stuff I want to add. I'm like, oh no, we're going to be here for four hours and this isn't going to be, I'm not going to get any of this up until after we've done the cast. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I'll leave it. <laughs> all I'm going to say, all I have to say is Windows 8 is still a bastardized version of Windows 7 and Windows Phone. <laughs> And I leave my argument at that, and I'll let the trolling rant be. <laughs> oh, we have to say that. We have to fuck with it. But, uh, m m you know what? Rather than wait, we're just going to take over the first 30 minutes. Because the first 30 minutes is probably what's going to get published. <laughs> it, 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 interrupting bit? What? What? <laughs> <That's> what? <laughs> that did something. Uh, no, it doesn't matter if it's 32-bit or 64-bit anymore as far as uh, the install files. I mean, granted, that's something that's been available for a while, but it's built into the system now. Because uh, I just downloaded the 32-bit version of Skype and I forgot I had just installed this AMD 64 version on my laptop. Yeah, I'm going to say that's not exactly a brand spanking new feature, but okay. No, but I forgot it was built into the system now, which is something that was kind of nice to see, because it, quite frankly, I hated getting packages, because of the Office program I use, I use uh, Lotus Symphony, and mm -hmm. it only comes in as a 32-bit, and I use it, I, I hate uh, CH modding my crap to get it to work. Uh, yeah, you're not supposed to have to do that in, in Linux or Unix, but... Um, <laughs> so you have to do that in all the freaking dependencies, though. Yeah. I love force installing stuff. It's great. <laughs> yes, but at least you can force it. <laughs> yes. I completely ignore the fact that, yes, I understand this is a 32-bit application trying to run on a 64-bit system. And, and that's okay, because that works, because 32 is smaller than 64. Exactly. Now, if I was trying to run a 64-bit application on a 32-bit system, I could understand your bitching. <laughs> yes. Uh, so that's why I was always like, oh, God, I hate having to force install this crap. I'm just like, yes, install. Oh, there will be no force. No, uh... <laughs> he was on here. Let's add this, since Marcel's busy going note happy. <laughs> Hello. Hello. We're waiting on Marcel to finish going note happy. No surprise there. <laughs> Nintendo's now copying everybody else on folders. Good for them! Yeah, their uh, new their three DSs now have folders. Wow, welcome to the modern world of an operating system. Well, they're yeah. a game console. Give them a break. There he goes. Are there actually any show notes, or is it all just randomness? Uh, well, it, the plan was randomness and to just have fun with it, but Marcel has seen that we have order to our chaos. <laughs> Damn you, bitch. <laughs> Damn you, Bob, with your boxing. 
I believe that the thing was I have to sit here and watch Bob drink Moxie, you bastard. <laughs> or something along those lines. That's right. Yeah, I forgot to set up the uh, yeah, and, and, and of course, uh, uh, you will not be joining us live, so you can torture Bit live before many people. Before <laughs> No, 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 no. I was talking about supposedly we're doing a broadcast this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> uh, th by the way, uh, did we decide on where that's going to be streamed to? You stream. Okay. Um, do you have like a URL for the Ustream channel? Yeah, I'm going to have to go and I'm going to have to like on YouTube and Twitter. Yeah, and you're going to have to post that here so I can put it in the show notes for this thing. And we can make it easy on people and make uh, my URL and URL for the time we're doing that cast just go there. <laughs> okay, hold on. I forgot to set up the podcast. Hold on, I'm trying to scramble here. Of course, he took time to write notes, so we'll be here for four hours, but he didn't set up the podcast. <laughs> Bit. How are those fours working up for you? They're fine. I like, you know, they're nice. Let's see. <laughs> Nothing ever goes to plan, though, does it? No, <laughs> I mean, no. Stoppers did a great job, but um, it was just too much, too much to uh, do the show because I had moved uh, two production pieces over, uh, but it was just too much of my ass. I was going to get it. Don't blame it. And meanwhile, the guys who are working on it, the pe excuse me, people who are working on his house, yep. are going, who is this crazy person and how do we get out of this house? <laughs> right. they, they were really helpful. <laughs> much nice guys. I think they made the whole thing worthwhile. Yeah, you would uh, have been drinking scotch at that time. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yeah, you, yeah, you didn't like have a little mellow on you or something. You know? <laughs> They were, they were really cool though. Um, they just uh, made everything easy. We didn't have to move as much as anticipated. And uh, they just found workarounds for like the bunk beds and stuff, and we don't have to take them apart. So they made life really blessed in the installation. Wait, wait. They took the bunk beds apart? I can see no, objections. We didn't have to. We oh, didn't have oh, to. oh, okay. Yeah, I was going to say. You start taking kids' bunk beds apart, and they declare war on whoever's doing it. Right. All right, I'm gonna start the project. Let me see here. Did you guys see Star Wars? Now I'm gonna all be in 3D. We'll rant on that in a minute. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna start the podcast. You ready, Rusty? I'm right, waiting. Three, two, one. Okay, everybody. Pre-Cracker Cast, what the fuck? We need a better name than Cracker Cast. <laughs> Uh, 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 you know, we're not going to, uh, uh, okay, Marcel's plan is we stay here for four hours and go over notes. Our plan is to hijack his plan and just have fun with tonight as a, as a pre cracker cast. So there will be a feud between hosts this evening. Because the last cracker cast went on for seven hours. Oh, no, I know, but the cracker cast is, we're supposedly doing that Saturday night, I think, is the plan. Yeah. Probably starting somewhere around uh, 10 p.m. work for you. Starting around when? Uh, 10 or 11 p.m. or something. Yeah, that, that, that seems about right. Yeah, uh, uh, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll figure out the exact time and make sure so it's on. However, if we go on, it, it basically, uh, whatever goes after a certain time period today, isn't going to get published on YouTube before we do that, because my week's nuts. So, it's like... <laughs> yeah, I gotta announce CrackerCast. I, you know what, though? I, most of the people that were there for the last CrackerCast, I don't even see them on YouTube or anything anymore. I don't even know if they're around, so... It's like nobody show up. <laughs> it just be... it just be like five of... <laughs> I'll get some from YouTube and all that, but, but a lot of... The old clan, because we used to hang out on Skype a lot until I got really busy and didn't mind. 
Yes, you uh, you are exceedingly busy these days. It's like we email you and we wait around, and then like twenty minutes before you're supposed to show up or not show up. More often than not, you say, "Ah, uh, yeah, um, yeah." There's a uh, yeah. I, I'm gonna need to work on Saturday, and, and you're gonna have to. Just yeah. because life has last minute changes, man. <laughs> when you have three kids. And just so step on each other every minute. That's right. It's, it's, there's, believe me, my, my folks get fed up with it because it's hard to stick with plans. So there's just so much stuff. What plans? Like, there's no plans. Like, so it was when I when I uh, had emailed you uh, that night. I, there was so much chaos going on already in the, in the house, and we were drying the whole leveling cement and all that crap, and it. By the time I had finished moving other furniture around, it was, what, 11.02 or something? And I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> I just remembered I needed to, you know, sit, find a way to email you. Um, and that's why it went off that way. So, anyways, this, I, this. You said that George Lucas is finishing destroying Star Wars? Well, first he came out with Connect Star Wars. That pretty much helped out on that destruction. <laughs> I mean, I just love watching my childhood get raped up watching Han Solo do the boogie down. The what? Boogie down? What? For Connect. Yeah. In a Star Wars game where essentially it's just a mini game of DS. I, I, I gave up on Star Wars. I was, uh, honestly, with the first prequel. Uh, no, first no. Prequel. Uh, no, the prequels I could forgive. It's when they added all those god awful CG scenes to the post quels. And they CG'd the only frickin' scene in the entirety of Star Wars where the guy who didn't know his voice was being replaced by James Earl Jones is actually seen in fullness without a bunch of crap on him. And they've CG'd that out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instead we get Hayden Christensen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's just, um... You know that guy? I know he's dead now. But that, that poor guy has been abused by more ways by George Lucas than... Oh, 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 sorry. I forgot where they add the new scene in the Blu-ray editions of the uh, Return of the Jedi. <sighs> I, I, I forgave all of that. And I, and I didn't really care about the pre-sequels, but I did hate three things about the pre-sequels that I think a lot of you agree with, like Jar Jar Banks. God, everybody hated him. Oh, no, how's me gonna hate him? <laughs> he was like a stone uh, rabbit talking Jamaican. Anyways. Uh, rabbit on meth. And the other one was... Oh, yeah, the little kid. God, the little, little kid. The one who played Anakin on the first movie? That was a piss-poor choice right you, there. You, you know, I didn't care, and everybody has made fun of that guy. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> I, 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 can you imagine the poor people who were his dorm mates? Because by the time, I mean, he was in college by the time, people were still ragging him. <laughs> it was like, what the fuck? Well, it's like, he was like, what, uh, 12 or something? Or 13? Yeah, he was like 12. I don't he's, even remember. And, or and, care. And that's love interest, which was Anna Paquin, who was like 17. Uh, uh, that, that, that's what you obsess over. Hi, a kid's got a, got a, got a woman when he's a kid. Oh, who cares? <laughs> no, and it's not just that, it's just, and then they, uh, they got to the really stupid scene where they said, why won't you initiate him as a Jedi? And goes, he's too young. And it's like, when do you bring these people in but when they're nothing more than an egg and a sperm? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's Yoda. Don't, no, don't worry about it. <laughs> you must know it's that one. When one has a mind that is made up in love, one is too old. <laughs> but uh, as far as the, the rest of the pre sequels, I was fine with part two, except maybe watching Jar Jar Bink giving emergency powers to Palpatine. But that just meant we can all blame it all on Jar Jar now. Thank God. But the rest of it was, I was fine with the other two pre-sequels. Anyways, so what, if anything, do we want to talk about? <laughs> well, we can, we can 
I, I guess. Uh, uh, wait, 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 no, you took the, you brought the Google Drive back up. Why? The, well, because it was in the news today again, and my colleague was talking to me about it, and couldn't believe they were charging fifty dollars a year and uh, all this other stuff. So. Well, I, I, I have a question. Um, would you rather pay for that service or would you rather it be free like all the other Google services where they supplement it by advertising? Because given what it is, I'm not sure I'd want that being supplemented by advertising. No, he, he, he's a, a Dropbox user and uses it free without the, the whole ad and stuff. I, and then Microsoft SkyDrive. How much is SkyDrive anyway? Oh, uh, you get 7 gigs free. That's a lot, actually. And I, well, I don't remember after that. Is it a uh, cloud again? <laughs> cloud storage? It's cloud storage, yeah. 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 Well, some cloud storages will make it, others won't. I mean, I can't put a video game on there and then run that game off of the cloud hard drive onto my own hard drive. You can if you get last mile to your house. Which we're trying. We're desperately trying. <laughs> I, I tried the, that little free trial of on live at my place, and it does work here. Yeah. Why don't, it, you, just, why don't you just uh, run it on a server? Run what? Uh, like host a game on a server and have everybody come in. It doesn't work that way. They all need the drives, and there are still people in homes. Pretty much, I think over seventy percent, or is it like uh, no, uh, fifty six, close to sixty uh, percent, or something like that? They're still using fifty six k modems. Yeah, well, uh, I know exactly what that is because I have. Modem, my goodness. No, 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 I know exactly what that is, bit because they're in areas like um, uh, I have some relatives. I'm not saying which ones that are in that. If you're just outside the major metropolitan area or in the more um, rural area, you you basically your option is the uh, cell yeah. phones, which have ridiculous bandwidth usage caps. Uh, satellite, which has lag, or dial-up, which you have a phone which will work. So, it, it, depending on the type of stuff you're doing, in some cases, using the dial-up over something like uh, this Hughes satellite thing or something is actually preferable even though it's slow because of the lag you would get with the satellite system because of the technology. Yeah, I can't get satellite where I am. They said it's unavailable. Everybody like, can get satellite. Not me. What, do you have no. trees having a southern southern or western obstruction? They just said that it's unattainable where, where I live at. So you have you have trees or some tower or something to the south or west of you? I guess I don't know. I talk to all. I, I mean, I well, you know, if you go outside your place and you see something in your line of sight to the south or the west, that's tall and big and structurally. <laughs> all I know is that they said that my area was unattainable when we asked about the uh, putting satellite here and they uh, satellite cable and they said, I mean, satellite internet. And they said it was impossible. They could put satellite cable here, but not satellite internet. Yeah, they could put satellite internet. Who, who the hell? Uh, what? Somebody was John uh, was Jones and you or something? No. What I don't what I don't understand is this cloud drive shit is like old, old stuff. I, I mean, we were doing this shit in the nineties. Huh? What I'm not understanding about tech today is is. It's like everybody just woke up all of a sudden. No, no, no. I know exactly what this shit is, but um, you want to know the tech. No, no. You want to know the technology that people are going to be trying to give away or sell to consumers. Look at the technology of ten years ago. I mean, think about it. We had TiVo technology uh, for all intents and purposes about a decade before TiVo started coming out, and then. We started selling that technology to consumer because the technology had become old enough and developed enough and enough people had worked on it that you could make a, oh, grandma can push the big shiny TiVo button solution. And that really is what these cloud 
drive solutions are today. Oh, we have enough bandwidth, server technology uh, drives and stuff have storage has been gotten cheap enough, bandwidth's gotten cheap enough, and we've written the technical UI that makes it point and click. <laughs> well, yeah, back then, using this cloud stuff was next to impossible when they tried to initiate it. Most people were on 56k modems, and it was like 80. Yeah, it was, it was, yeah, it was, yeah you needed to, to really power. even make good use of it. You needed to be I on the IDNS had, like, a, system. A cloud drive. But, you know, I always had it. I've always had a network, or I always call it network. Backup, yes, but you're a technical person, bit. I've always had right. a network drive since ninety what? I mean, it's in seven. seven I, mean, I, I think. just like I don't know. It's all this. I was like, what are you people talking about? This is not new. It's like it's thing. new to them. It's just, it's well, just it's stuff it's becoming consumerized. There really is. It's, yeah. It's, it's developed enough so that. So, 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 yeah. Well, Mister okay. Bit's kind of right when he says that it's not new. We've had it before. It's just we didn't have the uh, uh, bandwidth to uh, give it to so many users back. I guarantee you. About 10, 20 years from now, when we finally get a last mile network or equivalent built out in the United States, and you can have uh, a, a megabit connection to your local home, there's going to be a crap load of stuff that we do in office complexes and our local networks and that uh, geek and more technically inclined people are doing today. And they're going to that they're going to start to consumerize because the primary limitation of why you don't do it now is not software, it's not hardware, it's bandwidth limitation. And data caps. Are yeah, actually. data caps and bandwidth limitation. As soon as we get those two things straightened out for about fifty percent of the United take States. Twenty years to get that straight now. Yeah, that's why I said 10 upwards of 20 years, because it's got to get straightened out for at least the 50% of the United States that's the major metropolitan areas before you can really start rolling out things like that. But, and right now, really the only place you can do that, and I laugh at the companies that are trying to do this right now, there is a last mile network over there and them there, Silicon Valley. They got them their internet over there. But I see these companies that are trying to roll out services that are designed for that type of infrastructure because they happen to be out there. I'm like, you guys are smoking crack. I realize you live in the gold-plated bandwidth aisles, but the rest of the country ain't going to be able to use your freaking service. Your little startup ain't going to be anything other than it's going to fail in six months. <laughs> Well, what I really hate was that my mom had this one friend who wanted uh, who, who wanted us to hook up his Apple TV to a 56K modem. And they were like, no, it's just not going to happen. It, oh, I, <laughs> it's, just, it's just not going to happen there. Well, and uh, have you ever tried networking computers over a 56k connection? Oh dear lord! <laughs> you know, I was an idiot apparently, and he's like, "Oh, I got a bump device that Apple screwed me." He's like, "No, dude, you screwed yourself." No, it, dep it depends where they're living. I don't know. There are places where that's still the best way to go, even though it's well. No, he has no uh, high speed internet, no DSL net either. All he has is 56k. Well, I, like I said, depending where he is, if it's an option, it, it, unbeknownst to millions of people, there are there are thousands of places in the United States where you can't get DSL or broadband. And there are even some places that are known as dead spots where your satellite just can't go. Yeah, I, you know, I want GPS coordinates when we're off the air, because I just do <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just, these people are just trying to go in areas that that they can't, and it's just not going to be there for the next 10 to 20 years. Yeah, well, it'll come. Maybe longer. It, it, it'll come. I, I, the one thing the technology has convinced me of, and it, it's always convinced me of, is eventually some. Eventually, the pieces line up. It, you, it, it's that really, I mean, between Moore's Law and other things, it, it's, it, it happens. Give it time. Anyways, bit you put a what the you know <laughs> this bugs me when you do this. So like I, I'm like okay, there's a story, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's like, let me see. Well, what I was gonna get, you know, see, I had a, 
mean, we're, we're talking about the cloud. You know, people forget about iTools, which I've been a long athlete here, and that was what, when did iTools start? Uh, I want to say 2000 or something like that. And uh, it was free back then, right? And now with iCloud, it's kind of all hunky-dory. It's just yeah. gone. But it's but isn't the storage like this? This the whole iCloud thing is syncing of documents and certain amounts of content. But I think you can pay right um, for just like a, a drive or, or well, cloud computing is uh, really getting easier. No, it's not cloud computing. Cloud storage. I mean, it's just yeah. Cloud I think you get five gigs, right? Is that yeah? yeah I think that's right. That's right. Okay. So anyway, it, but, but Google, this this uh, drive, the good thing is it's not uh, like Apple in the sense that you, you, you know you can, it's just locked in with the Apple universe. But you pay for it, and it's twenty, it's ten year old technology. Uh, the, the, the rusty, the one thing you won't like is it doesn't natively support Linux. No, I'm not surprised. Google's been being weird lately. Windows, Mac OS ten, Android, and I, iOS. Well, I no, no, like no. Google hit, Google is really trying to pick a fight with Linux right now. They just the, killed Pagano. Oh, okay. No, no, no. What I, it, it's hysterical because if you look at the thing, you're like, oh, yeah, Linux, what's that? Oh, no, but we support Android, which is Linux-based, and we support Chrome, which is Linux-based, and we support right. all the Google stuff that's built on top of Linux, but Linux, no, we've never heard of no Linux. <laughs> well, let's go over your conversation about Linux. At the bottom well, was, here, this, no. Uh, I was going to say real fast that the reason why cloud computing and downloading file uh, down uh, direct download is so popular on uh, smartphones over you know consoles and computers is because smartphones have satellites and they're always on the internet because uh, they're basically cell phones. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I'm, all right, I'm trying to access this drive on my iCloud account, and uh, I, I can't do it. There is no, uh, let's see here. So, see, like in mobile me, I could log on from my Windows machine and then hit my iDisk. A bit. Are you online like you're supposed to be? No. See? I'm on Windows right now trying iCloud because... Oh, no, 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 no. You're outside of the iWorld trying to talk so, to the iWorld? So, uh, the storage, then, is not is not like iDisk, then, basically. No, is, no, no. You, you, you don't understand. You have to live in the iWorld. All things live in the iWorld. Don't you know this bit? <laughs> See, I, they automatically told me, because I'm a mobile media subscriber, that they're automatically going to give me um, 20 gigs. Right, because I have like the whole family thing, but I haven't really even I haven't had a time to look into this. But honestly, but I, I know my this I was able to from anywhere on the web because I would go to work and access things off my disk. But that was pre iWorld. That was that was before post PC. We're post PC. We're iWorld, bit. All things are Apple. Didn't you know this? Yeah, at least the, uh, <laughs> so is this just I... the photos? I mean, I don't get it. It's like, okay, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm reading here, it says iTunes content doesn't count to your limit, right? I guess. Oh, dear. Oh, I, I think it sounds like Comcast and the Xfinity. <laughs> yeah, doesn't it? Doesn't it just sound like that? <laughs> 